Hello YouTube. The folks at SwiftHitch.com sent me one of their SwiftHitch backup cameras to review. And I'm sitting out here on a nice, sunny, calm Sunday afternoon enjoying the campground with my fellow campers. And I want to give you a rundown of what's in the package and my thoughts on it. Okay, this is what I found in the shipping package from SwiftHitch.com. It's the model SH02. It's the camera, camera and video receiver with an accessory kit. And we'll go through that now and show you what's in the in the kit. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out. And what you got here is a little handy packing carrying case, storage case. A couple of zippers on the side. Okay, now the first thing you see is the instruction manual. It's a little little thin, but uh, it's adequate. It'll tell you what's going on, how to use your system. All right, here's the uh, video receiver and the wireless video camera. It comes with a charging adapter, 12 volt charging adapter, plugs into a 12 volt power plug, and then it has the dual plugs on the other end so that you can charge both the units at the same time. Pretty handy. And it comes with a video out so that you can either record video or you can plug this into GPS monitor that might be a little larger or maybe a TV if you're in a motorhome and you got a TV over the dash you could probably plug that in there give you a really good picture and then oh, got a little piece of hook and loop so that you can mount your uh, video receiver in a strategic place in your vehicle if you'd prefer to do that and lastly it comes with a uh, magnetic base with suction cups and this is intended to so that you can attach the camera to an otherwise non-magnetic surface uh, I've used it on uh, my window and other things just trying it out it seems to work pretty good so this is this is what you got okay so let's go over the individual units here there's not much to say that I haven't already said about the uh, the cables or at least the charging cable so we'll put that aside and there's obviously not much to say about this it works it's for what it's intended to do and let's start with the camera this camera is nice it's uh, a met, met metal body on it this is metal it's a fairly strong magnet so it'll stick just about anywhere I've noticed that this is a little slick and sometimes you might want to it might want to slip on you for example on this plate here it, it turns which I don't know if it's a big deal or not, but it might be better if it didn't slip like that. But in any case, it's not that hard to adjust your camera to whatever angle you want. And it, it, it sticks pretty good, so I don't think you have to worry about that. Now this little cap here is that's considered an accessory. And it, it's just a weather guard. Um, it covers up this little port here. This is your charging port where you can charge up the battery. Now when this little plug right here is properly done, it should be fairly weather resistant as it is. So I'm not sure how important this is. I wouldn't keep it out in the rain regardless. So, but anyway, it's, it's supplied with the kit and I think it might be handy 
and then you have your on off button you can either work it through the little thing here or you, it works I'll show it to you here so you can see it it's the button right here next to the little cap you turn it on <clears throat> and you can't see it probably but the little green light here goes on to tell you the camera is working so we'll set that aside <laughs> Now the video receiver, now I took it out of the box and you saw that the battery was already in there. Well, I've had it out of the box before and I've used it a little bit. I put it all back in the box so you could kind of see what you got when you got it in the mail for yourself. So when it comes in the mail, the battery is not in the receiver, but you can see that it's kind of a cell phone type battery and it's easy enough to install. So that's not a problem. All right. Now, on the battery for the camera, it's not user friendly for replacement. I did email the company and they replied back that you can, by removing the screws here, have access to the battery and you can change the battery yourself. It does require soldering. They do offer the service. They will replace the battery for you. And they also added that in their experience, the battery in the camera will last three to four years and often longer than that, depending, of course, on how much you use it. So is it a problem? I don't know. Uh, maybe three years from now, I'll let you know. But. I think it's I think it'll I think it's fine for what it is I think you'll get plenty of use out of it in three to four years and, and sending it back to the uh, company for a new battery shouldn't be an issue so get back to the video receiver turning pushing the button here um, turns it on and it was already on <laughs> So it turns it on and if you look here you can see the little green light is on and it will show you that it's working. And if you press it one more time it puts the display in mirror image or reverse image mode and the little green light flashes to tell you what mode you're in. It's pretty neat. Uh, right here is the charging port for the 12 volt charger. and that works well and on the side here is where you plug in your video out and that works pretty well you take this in and you run it into your video recorder I have a little uh, video to digital recorder that uh, actually records on a little USB thumb drive that I took some images off of the receiver that we'll see later on in the video so anyway now you've got a pretty good idea of what's in the kit and what you get for your money as a fifth wheel owner i have to say from the start that i've never needed a hitch aid other than my rear view mirror but to be fair to the review i did some thinking about how i could use the swift hitch when hitching up i could have set the camera on the truck box looking at the hitch but i can get that view from my rear view mirror my thought was to mount the camera on the kingpin box, which actually worked out quite well. So here's a uh, view of, from the camera of the same hitching process with the camera on the kingpin box. One of the key parts of hitching a fifth wheel is knowing whether your jaw or locking bar is closed. You can assume it is, but the only way to know for sure is to get out and look. Mounting the camera under the kingpin box looking towards the kingpin gave an excellent view of the pin entering the hitch and the locking bar closing. Yeah, the image would be inverted, but just turn the video receiver upside down and, and you get the proper view through the magic of video editing I did that for you so you wouldn't have to stand on your head. 
I was very interested to see in what other ways a swift hitch could be used. So the first thing I did was tape the camera to an old extension pole I had and used it to inspect the roof of my RV. This is handy for me because I can't climb a ladder to get up on the roof to see directly. The Swift Hitch Company offers a 5 foot telescoping pole mount, but keep in mind it may not be long enough to reach the height of very high RVs. Also the camera will mount to a standard tripod or monopod camera mount. Here's a view of the underside of the trailer and it's kind of handy, beats getting down on your hands and knees. Well, there's some spider webs and an old black widow nest it looks like. Need to get out the uh, pest control spray. Here's a view of the rack and pinion on the slide out. Just getting an idea of what I could use it for and what I could actually see when I'm looking. The Swift Hitch night vision feature uses infrared LEDs around the camera lens which are activated automatically at night or when the camera is in a dark area. These LEDs don't cast a visible beam of light but are very bright in the infrared spectrum. The manual says the night vision has a range of 15 feet but my camera was good for 30 feet at least and lit up a good part of the campsite. In the night vision mode, the video is in black and white. Just after receiving my swift hitch, I watched an RVer in the next campsite make several attempts at getting his hitch ball under the trailer hitch before success. So I have to believe if you are an RVer who owns a travel trailer, swift hitch will be a welcome addition to your gear and even with its limitations being able to use the camera system for other purposes adds a lot of value and makes it easier to justify its purchase. That's it. If you like this review please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment and if you have a swift hitch let me know how you use it. You can read a more detailed review of the swift hitch camera system and hundreds more RV articles at rvbasics.com. I'll leave a link below. Thanks for watching. Bye.